Happy weekend, everyone, and happy crypto pump -mus. <laughs> The markets are looking nice today. Let's discuss exactly what's going on with Luna Classic and the overall market. So today, Bitcoin sitting at around 20,700, up 2.5%, and Ethereum up around 75 to 8%. And we did reclaim the $1 trillion market cap for the overall market with an increase of 4% just today. Now, the outlier, of course, today is Dogecoin having a very nice pump of almost 30% in a single day. Very nice moves from where I was accumulating and talking about it on the channel. Of course, this is because of the Elon Musk news, buying Twitter, all of that sort of stuff. There's speculation that he is actually going to integrate Dogecoin into the platform, but we don't know that for sure. It is just speculation. So potentially just buy the rumor, sell the news event happening right now. And what we are in right now it may just simply be a bear market rally. So do keep that in mind. Take a look at your portfolio. Decide if you can sustain a drop from here. For me, dollar cost averaging is what I'm going to continue to do. We've made some really nice gains today. Maybe I'll take some profits. I will be checking out my portfolios and seeing where the market goes. Now, if we do look at Luna Classic here, we haven't really seen any uh, big moves since uh, Bitcoin is up and the overall market's up. Bit uh, Luna Classic just kind of traveling sideways from here. We are above the 023 mark, which is nice. Of course, the next resistance for us to break is really the 025 mark. Before we really see any more bullish momentum, I would say probably a retest of these regions before heading upwards is most likely on the cards. I think now, of course, we just have to sit and wait. We have to sit and wait on our hands. We have to wait for some utility, some more catalysts. Of course, we had that really nice 500% move uh, in the past, you know, just about a month ago, we had an awesome move. We had uh, uh, the pullback, which is exactly what we expected here on the channel, talking about taking profits in these regions. And now it's either a time to be reaccumulating or simply just waiting. We're gonna need to wait a little bit to see some more bullish news come into the market before we see any real moves. Of course, I would like to see a break above the 026 mark for us to really go any higher on a technical level. And with that said, if you guys are trading right now, Bitcoin may very well be putting in a double top here. We haven't really seen it play out. We need it to break the neckline really for us to uh, have like a good technical trade here. But just waiting to see. Remember, I told you guys about the trade back here when we had a double top and that did actually result in around a 7.5% move. So very nice if you are trading on leverage. And right now, BitGet, the, tra the platform that I trade leverage on, is holding a trading competition. You can win up to uh, 100 Bitcoin, up to 100 BTC. Absolutely wild. And if you do sign up using the link down there in my description, you can get up to 100 100 you can get up to ten thousand dollars in a deposit bonus plus guys if you do fancy kycing for this event you can get a 50 dollars trading bonus directly into your account which you can use to trade what wherever you want including in this competition um i am going to be forming my own team for the competition so if you sign up now make the best of the deposit bonus and i'll let you know when you can uh, join my team if that's something you fancy doing but an awesome opportunity here so definitely do that if you fancy it and right now we are trading on bitcoin just between 20,000 and 21,000 of course we tested it twice so again a double top potentially forming which is more likely to be uh, bearish but if we do break above the the 21,000, we could see some nice bullish acts. And right now, just having a little bit of a cooling off period. If we do break this neckline here, then potentially that's a short term trade that you can enter in a short position. But of course, it's up to you guys what you want to be doing in this market. We did have our uh, whale trader that we are uh, uh, watching here. They sold Bitcoin or they moved their Bitcoin from this wallet, I should say, just uh, yesterday. And last time they did this, Bitcoin did uh, have a pretty nasty drop. So bear that, bear that in mind if you are feeling very, very bullish today. Of course, we need to uh, keep ourselves safe and protect our downsides at all costs. Like I said, Luna Classic hasn't really moved yet. I would hope it does make some movements, but I do think that we need some catalysts for this. Remember that Luna Classic is still a very large market cap, right? It's not really a small meme coin or anything. So it does take quite a lot to move this. It's a $1.6 billion market cap. So it does take a lot to move that sort of market cap. And right now, now the price action is nice. We haven't retested back down to the lows we were in before we saw the pump down here, which is great to see. A consolidation period around this time is nice. It's nice. Accumulation maybe is happening, and we'll just have to wait to see what's happening uh, really in the future. Uh, no real trade for me right now, short term. Uh, I'm still still holding my bag and hoping that we uh, do go to the moon one day very soon. I will continue to bring you updates for Luna Classic and the overall markets right here on the channel. If you want to take part in that trading competition, the link's down there in the description.
and I'll see you guys probably on Monday because I'm not sure if I'm going to make a video tomorrow because I, I fancy a break.